This is the information I wish I had when starting my professional drone and reality capture business. In this deep dive, we'll look at the digital workflows and tools I use every day to bring accurate, dependable, and immersive deliverables to my clients. Not only do I share my secret recipe, but I discuss the reasons why I ended up with these tools and how they meet the needs of my clients in the architecture, engineering, construction, and building operations space. If you're an emerging drone business or implementing drones and reality capture into your existing business, this video is for you. Hey everyone and welcome. I'm Mike Liggett, owner of Aerial Ethos, a professional drone and reality capture business here in Portland, Oregon. When I first started my business, I felt like I had a pretty sweet setup, ready to scale and meet all of my client needs. I was feeling optimistic. Uh, optimism tends to be my default mode, but quickly found out that this industry has way more opportunity than I initially thought, and maybe Maybe my current tool set was not sufficient to meet these opportunities. I mean, we all got to start somewhere. Uh, there, there's definitely some key aha moments for me along the way that I thought would make a compelling story for folks endeavoring into this business or wanting to add these capabilities to your existing business. So grab a cup of coffee and let's peek under the hood as we dive into the tools which are essential to my professional reality capture business and the journey that led me to these tools. First, let's rewind a few years to 2020. Like most, I was looking for creative endeavors to occupy my mind from the upside down world of COVID that we were in. Uh, I'd always been fascinated by drones and I knew that uh, they were becoming increasingly important in the architecture, engineering and construction industry, which is where I had spent the last 26 years of my career. Uh, this idea had been building, but I, I felt overwhelmed with everything going on in the world. But this all changed one hot August night when I bolted right out of bed in the middle of the night with butterflies in my stomach and an intuition telling me to start that damn business. <laughs> so I did. Uh, uh, you know, it was such a visceral experience that I, that I just I couldn't ignore it. So juggling my existing job with this new venture was, was definitely a challenge, but I was fueled by a passion for learning and a genuine desire to help the industry, which I had dedicated so much of my career to. My first priority, find the right tools uh, to streamline my operations. They had to be powerful while being user-friendly and accessible from anywhere. So as a construction professional, I'll just say that my expectations around these tools are, are pretty dang high. Initially, I explored turnkey cloud-based platforms, which process, then host the data. Uh, and they, you know, they also provide basic measurement and analytic tools on their web interface. Uh, Pix4D is, is a major player in the industry, and I opted for their advanced cloud solution as a starting point. Uh, they had a monthly subscription plan, which worked for my current needs. Uh, I also looked at Drone Deploy it was tempting, but the price, it was just a bit steep and I didn't care for their GCP workflow and additional fees associated with GCPs. Uh, and also they didn't seem too interested in servicing small and emerging businesses, which was a bit of a turnoff. So uh, skipped on by Drone Deploy. With Pix4D Cloud, I, as I got deeper into projects, I realized quickly that I needed more advanced tools and functionality uh, particularly um, for cut fill analysis that, that they didn't have, which this led me to Esri's site scan solution, which as a GIS enthusiast, it seemed like an awesome fit. So I committed to an annual subscription, which came with a hefty price tag. Uh, some of the pros were unlimited cloud processing and of course the seamless transfer of data to the Esri ecosystem. And, you know, I'll say, I found SiteScan to be a, a solid platform, but it ultimately fell short on cost for one and the limitations that are just inherent with all cloud processed options. So we're going to get into that here in a sec. Uh, so up until this point, I had been avoiding the desktop processing softwares. Uh, one, because I was a Mac user and, and almost all desktop processing is PC based uh, and two, I needed that simple turnkey cloud-hosted solution for, for sharing deliverables, that was important. As my business grew, 
um, projects came along that exposed the limitations of these cloud-based um, solutions uh, and my client requests were getting more complex with higher levels of accuracy needed. Uh, one of the biggest issues or limitations with cloud processing is you have virtually no control over the input parameters or the results. Their algorithms will automatically interpret what they see, buildings, trees, you name it. And sometimes they get it wrong, like bushes getting interpreted as a terrain or structures melt into the landscape as a blobby mess. On top of this, they don't provide the tools to manipulate or fix these errors. I realized that while cloud solutions are great for general visualization and coordination, they weren't flexible or precise enough for the architects, engineers, and surveyors I was working with. And they also didn't provide a compelling audit trail for data validation, because a lot of those folks want to see, well, how did you get from point A to point B? And if you can't really show them that, then they're going to be skeptical of the data and the accuracy. So this realization sent me on a three-month deep dive into other options before my annual subscription of SiteScan was up. Uh, th those three months proved to be pivotal in my growth and understanding of the industry, the tools, and the trajectory for my business, which ultimately led to the four pillars of my current tech stack. Built for precision, ease of use, and scalability, these are the tools that are meeting my client needs and are elevating my business now and into the future. So let's start with pillar number one, uh, and GIS, a GIS system, if you're not familiar, Geospatial Information Systems, because this is one of the first tools I reference when evaluating a project. In this business, we are always dealing with data that is location-based, and it's critical that different sources of data align with each other in the geospatial world. This is what allows us to stack data on top of one another in order to perform critical analysis and QAQC, People don't often think of Google Earth as a GIS platform, but it absolutely is. I, I look at every project in Google Earth first to gain situational awareness. Um, could it impact feasibility? How is the data gonna get collected? Just general operational considerations. It's a great tool for that. Beyond the planning phase, uh, more advanced GIS platforms such as QGIS, ArcGIS, and Global Mapper Pro are essential tools for data transformations, georeferencing, and point cloud analysis. For me, I rely on QGIS, which is free and open source, which is awesome, uh, for general GIS needs, and Global Mapper Pro for more advanced workflows uh, with 3D data and point clouds, such as classification, extraction, and analysis. Next up was the data processing piece. I know I needed more processing power, so I forked out a chunk of change for a gaming laptop with high-end specs and an NVIDIA GPU. With this, I started demoing many of the top photogrammetry engines. I was looking for the perfect balance of cost, features, ease of use, and quality of the outputs. The softwares were DJI Terra, Pix4D Mapper and Matic, Agisoft Metashape, Terrain Creator, and reality capture. At the end of the day, it was a tough call and it came down to Metashape and DJI Terra with Terra winning out for ease of use, cost, and quality of the 3D data outputs. A small caveat to this is that I also use Terrain Creator because it comes bundled with virtual surveyor. So we'll get into that here in a sec. But uh, depending on the project needs, Terrain Creator may be the better option due to its terrain focused algorithms which give you quick and accurate results when dealing with mostly bare earth job sites uh, when 3d data is a priority though dji terra is definitely the go-to with the processing settled i needed a powerful terrain analysis tool that gave me the functionality that i was missing with those cloud uh, processing solutions so I needed advanced features in terrain editing, measurements, volumetrics, cut fill, planimetrics, timeline comparisons, and lightweight CAD capabilities to, bring, to bridge the gap between the data I was collecting uh, and the CAD workflows familiar to my clients. 
Fortunately, I found Virtual Surveyor, which not only checks all of these boxes, but exceeded my expectations in so many ways. And to this day, it's still just my one of my favorite softwares in, in the day to day. Uh, this is not to say that Virtual Surveyor does it all because it doesn't. Since it is terrain focused, elevation models are prioritized over high resolution 3D data. Uh, additionally, it's not meant for streamline inspection workflows, and it doesn't have a cloud interface. Um, so for me, this is completely fine because I think it may actually detract from the stellar offering and functionality that it has now and the desirable pricing structure. Moving on to the cloud. So knowing that I needed a cloud hosting solution, um, this led me to Nira. App. Uh, this is where cloud collaboration, which as discussed is absolutely necessary, comes to life. Uh, in the AECO industries, now we're also talking O for operations, uh, there is a high bar for cloud collaboration tools. And when I discovered Nira, it blew the roof off. Not only is it the snappiest 3D viewer out there, but it provides powerful tools for measuring, annotating, comparing, collaborating, and inspecting seamlessly across all platforms, desktop, phone, tablets. Some of these features overlap with Virtual Surveyor, but the streamlined and democratized um, data for all stakeholders in the cloud is just hands down, it, it's incredible experience. It, it also renders incredibly large and detailed data sets without blinking an eye and gives that wow factor to clients. It's especially useful for non-technical users who may struggle with spatial understanding when it comes to CAD drawings or Revit models or, or, or those uh, alike. Um, a picture is worth a thousand words, but being able to immerse yourself and walk through a 3D digital twin while you inspect, annotate, and take measurements is game changing. Something else I love about Nira is that it's data agnostic. You could bring any process data in there, whether you are using Agisoft uh, or Terra or Pix4D, it'll it'll just consume it all and and give you some of the best quality 3D models in the industry. So Nira is providing the final and essential piece for me to share data far and wide without worrying about my client's ability to open or view the data without um, special software or high-end computer specs. Uh, they also have an unparalleled point cloud viewer, which is revolutionizing the way people experience these data sets and bringing the benefits of point clouds to the masses. The combination of local processing, powerful terrain analytics, CAD workflows, and industry leading cloud partner, I'm optimistic as ever in providing accurate, dependable, and actionable data to my clients. While it took quite some time for me to find the perfect recipe of software partners, I feel confident I've built a workflow that not only delivers, but will scale with my business and clients into the future. Hopefully this helps those looking into tools for their reality capture needs and gives a solid foundation for your analysis. Uh, please reach out with any questions or to share your thoughts. And of course, we would love to be your reality capture specialist. So give us, give us a call, give us an email and, uh, We'll, we'll see you soon. Okay. Cheers.